Lepers. Oh my gosh. What's going on, man? You got a little blaze, dude? One diamond blaze. per slot. Ooh! Ooh! My first customer? I mean... <laughs> Jeez. I didn't know you needed so much redstone. <laughs> Thank you, I don't need redstone again now. You just like double the amount of diamonds I have. <laughs> really? G'day everyone, welcome to Whimsycraft, episode 9. In this episode, I was going to work on the terracotta shop, but I'm still waiting on some resources that um, are not in stock. So, instead, I'm going to work on my bridge. As you can see, I showed a bit of it last episode, but I wasn't really sure the direction I wanted to go with it. Um, but now I am. I've figured out a design and um, I can pretty much just build everything on top of what I've already done. So one thing about the design of the bridge is that I've taken a lot of inspiration from the creator Snapple. They have a bridge on their Instagram that uses rotated stairs to give a tiled effect and that's the same effect I'm going to be using on this build. This build is going to require a lot of resources and I don't even have it all. Um, it's going to require a lot of mud, a lot of wood, a lot of stairs. Um, it also requires a lot of glass um, and this is all the sand I have. Oh, that's not sand. This is all the sand I have. And this is all the glass I have. I need a lot more. Alright, I think this should be everything I need. First, I want to get some scaffolding down because there's still some pretty... Go away, Cloud Disconnected. <laughs> um, there's still some pretty undetailed areas down here, so I want to go through and fix things up a bit. Alright, I've got some scaffolding in. Now I want to go through and change some of this bricked tuff into this polished tuff, just to give it a bit more definition. And then I'm going to go through and change these walls as well, because they're also pretty bland. There's just a transition gradient, um, and I want to add some more color and texture to that as well. All right, so I wanted to give it more of a brick texture using cyan terracotta and also polished tuff, and also a bit of lime terracotta as well. And uh, yeah, I think it looks a lot better now. And while building this, Ducky came over, and Will, and Ducky was in VR, so I had to join him. Um, so the next clip you'll see will be me and Ducky and Will. You're in the floor! I, the I am in the floor. Oh my god, buddy, you scared the hell out of me. But, oh wait, you need to see how I break blocks. This is epic. It's like the Minecraft. Okay, movie. go on. Are you ready? Yeah. Watch out! Whoa, that's, that's sick work. as. <laughs> sick as, yeah. I'm Please don't. I'm a little hedgehog. He's shot! Laurie, he's shot! Laurie, he's shot. <laughs> I'm being bullied! Stand up! Come on! No, no, wait, 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 I'll stand up, I'll stand up, wait, wait, wait. Oh! Oh my god! Oh, wait, oh wait, I think it's because I tried to calibrate my height, but because I was on the floor, it made me really short. <laughs> yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Come here! Come here! Wait. This is great! How tall am I? Wait, am I taller than this? Now, what are we talking? Normally? You're the same height as a flower. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little baby. How do I cal- Wait. It just jumped Where's... on its bed. Where's the cal- <laughs> No, I didn't. Whoa! Oh my oh! god! <laughs> Hello I'm there. Tall. You shorties! Wait, can Hello. You put, can you put your arms around our, our shoulders? Like you're oh, hugging Of course. Us? I'm gonna get a screenshot. Uh, 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 oh god, you guys are very. Are bad. you like pooing? What? <laughs> What's I'll that? put my hand on your head. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I decided to get in VR, but unfortunately I was not recording the game audio, so you cannot hear um, anyone else like Spaghetti or Will or Ducky. Um, so I'm gonna have to cut this segment short. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna get back to building now. All right, so <laughs> do you like that transition? <laughs> um, I've done 
the sides of the bridge now on both sides uh they've got the roof and this is what i was talking about using stairs and i've done a little gradient with, from light to red um sort of light to dark um but it's more of a red to uh what is this it's like orange um sort of color red to orange <laughs> um and i've used a lot of glass as you can see oh i haven't done it here i forgot in this spot um this is a better example as you can see oh, it's getting dark okay i just need to sleep as you can like sort of barely see i've got glass here and it sort of extends the wall out to be a bit bigger than it actually is and i've done it here and from a from further back, it adds just a slight bit of extra texture and detail. Um, also, I felt like the note blocks were too bright, so I've put this dark uh, grey glass in front of it, and it just dulls the colour a bit, and it looks a lot nicer. So next, I've got to add in the path, and then I've got to put the roof on top. So I'm going to crack on. One of the things I really love about this, and I'm kind of realizing both what I love about it and why I love it, uh, is is I definitely love like the shape. It feels very like structural. It feels very, very like old, but very well taken care of. Like mm -hmm. there's been repairs and stuff on it. One of the things that I'm realizing why I love about it is that one of the ways that you use to like signify that is the signs. You know me, I love I love <laughs> sizes of the detailing block. Yeah, I love it. Yes, but it, it like that in front of the like the acacia with the stripped spruce it just oh oh it looks so good it looks so good mm -hmm. all right so i'm almost finished the bridge i've got a few things left to do um one of them being i need to put the roof on uh most of it is done like all the walls and stuff are in i'll talk a little bit about the direction i wanted with this um so i wanted it to feel very open when walking underneath the roof which I think I've achieved very well. And another thing I wanted was to be able to fly through the building part of the bridge, like this. Um, yeah, I just wanted to be very elytra accessible. Before I complete this build, I do want to quickly talk about the Halloween event, which I put my name in for in the last episode. Um, so I got my name. I'll show a clip now of me getting my name. Um, so, the person I got was Jack on the Box. Hopefully he's not watching this video. I don't think he watches my videos, I'm just gonna hope he doesn't. 
But I do want to ask you, what should I do to prank him? I've already got a few ideas, but I want to hear if you guys have any like cool ideas on pranking him. I'm pretty sure like pretty much all of the names have been taken out now. So someone is definitely going to prank me pretty soon. So uh, I'll, I'll try to be recording for that. But yeah, let's finish this build. Would Laurie be at his house? Oh. It would be at my house. <laughs> <laughs> Laurie, I have a question for you. I flew over here and I've seen something very disturbing. Yeah, right. what is the disturbing thing? It's about your base. And I don't... Honestly, Laurie, I don't know what you're doing. But it, it's freaking me out a bit. What is it? It's about your, your builder up there. Your build up there. Now, I don't know if you did it on purpose. Or you didn't mm. do it on purpose. But can you just fly... Fly and have a look at your bridge and tell me everything's fine. Um, like, like that everything's fine. No, there's a there's a copper that needs to be waxed. Okay, okay, so okay, I was talking about the stairs. Oh, I you... thought you placed them wrong. No, they're meant to be like this. You know, like that that phobia of like sponges, like someone like had loads of holes. <laughs> It's giving me that kind of vibe. <laughs> really? <laughs> the thing is, first I thought you just maybe messed up, but if it's actually meant to look like this, I'm no, sorry. No, it's meant to be a tiled effect. It's meant, like, oh, meant to give okay, like a tiled okay. effect, you know? <laughs> the, thing is, the thing is, when I first saw it, I just saw like the, you know, like the whole, uh, I forgot what they call it. What the Ooh, thing There's a called. gap down there. Oh, sorry. The phobia of holes, like loads of holes. Yeah, but do you think it looks bad? I'm not saying it looks bad, I'm just saying the first thing I thought was strip You're just not used to it. People get scared no, of things they're not the used to. Before. I haven't seen it before. You know, um, it's unique, some would say. Unique. Mm -hmm. It's just a bit strange, you know? I don't know if it's good strange or bad strange. It's scary. You'll get used to it. But I don't come here often. It's sort it. of strange from the inside, though. Did you just see outside? It looks like loads of... Now you've got loads of, like, windows. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about this build? I I really hope people don't get trypophobia from it. Um, but I think it's really nice. Obviously, it is very different. I feel like a lot of people who have, who are like watching haven't seen a roof done this way before. So, um, yeah, a lot of people can get scared of things they're not used to. But I think this is a new idea. I've only seen Snapple do it, so yeah, I had to try it out as well. And I think I've done it pretty well. I just want to show you for a second flying through the building part of the bridge. Um, obviously you can do it and it is really nice. Right now there is no interior to the bridge because I'm quite unsure of how I want to do this. Um, obviously there's some windows here that you can look out at the un very unfinished terrain. And over here you can look out onto Will's base and sort of see actually you can't see toby's base <laughs> you can see toby's base from up here and there's also windows up here which you can look down at toby's base but i don't know if i am gonna add a second story to this to this room it's quite cramped um i'll have to figure that out but right now i'm just gonna leave it blank and another thing i need to do is i need to connect this bridge to another mountain <laughs> I don't know if I said it early in this video, but uh, yeah, I am building another mound right next to this to connect this up and it's sort of going to wrap around the terrain here and um, it's going to come over here and then it's going to come over to an even bigger mound that I'm going to build over here. Yes, a lot of building. I've been doing so many time lapses in this video and I've tried to change it up each time but I don't know how to keep changing it up. So I'm not going to bore you with another time lapse. I think I'm just going to build this mountain pretty quickly and uh, I'll cut to that now. Oh yeah, look at that mountain. Alright, so I streamed the making of this mountain. Another good reason to check out my Twitch. Um, 
And there's also a dead baby here, which I'm completely fine with because babies are banned from my channel. But yes, as you can see, I filled in the gap between this bit of land and the, uh, the hollow area beneath. And I also made a little um, valley area. They'll, I'll continue the mountain over here, but this will be a little valley going over. Oh, no, not a valley. It's a canyon. Sorry. It'll be the canyon going over to where here will be the lake. But yes, as you can see, I haven't finished it. I just wanted to get it looking good from the front. Just so I can have a complete uh, thumbnail. <laughs> um, and I think I've done that really well. And it looks really good from Will's base, which I'm super jealous about. <laughs> and obviously this part right here is floating as well. Um, all I wanted to complete with building this part of the mountain was make it look good from that angle. And also an area to connect the bridge up to. So the bridge makes sense. <laughs> Before I end this video, there's two things I've been neglecting. One I've been excitingly neglecting, um, and that's checking the drops on this mob farm, which is insane. Look at all the, is that a chicken job? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, he's wearing gold boots. I was so confused. I thought he was wearing gray dyed leather boots. Um, but look at that. It's gotta be, how many is that? Um, it's definitely, it says 73 entities. It's definitely not 73, but it's a lot. Um, and I want to see how many drops I've gone out. How'd he hit me? Oh my gosh. Um, you can hear them. That's crazy. Um, yeah. Okay. So last time I checked this full, this bottom chest was fully filled up. Um, now I'll just prove that to you. Um, now check this chest. Oh my gosh, that one's full. Oh my, okay. So I've almost like pretty much since building the bridge, I've pretty much filled up almost three chests. That's crazy. Because I built this, um, after I finished building the forest in the last episode. Hey, I, I see you there. And the other thing I've been neglecting, which is probably being bad, is my breeze shop. I need to check the stock and to see if I've made sales. I have a slight suspicion that I've been sold out because there is this thing to get onto the nether roof in the nether um, using breeze balls. So I'm wondering if someone might have brought, bought me out or they've just got their own breeze ball farm. But I need to check this out. Okay. <laughs> Only two diamonds here. Okay, one's an Ogster diamond. Okay. And here. Okay. I don't need to restock. That's good. That makes me feel good. <laughs> that means I don't have to AFK much longer because I don't have too many um, breeze rods left over. I'll just show you what I was talking about in the nether. So our nether is an absolute mess right now. My portal's over there. But this is the only way to get to the nether roof, I believe. And it's pretty cool. Someone's put a bunch of breeze balls in these dispensers and you just have to stand on it and you get launched to the nether roof. It's so perfect. In my next episode, I am going to build the terracotta shop. These are all the resources I should need for it. And it's going to go right here and it, it should look really nice. It's based off a Lego modular set. And I think most... These, these buildings are all done by Spear, and I believe these are all based off Lego modular sets as well, which is really cool. And to end off this video, I'm going to buy a bunch of uh, plants and stuff from... Trim Actually, I want more pickles. I want more pickles. I want more than that. There we go. Four stacks of pickles. Um, I want these as well. Uh, two diamonds per slot. Easy. And these as well. There we go. Okay. Um... I've been delaying the end of this video, but I will end it now. If you have enjoyed this video and you did like the bridge, please subscribe. It helps me out a lot. I'm really happy with the base progress I've been making and I hope you guys have been enjoying because, you, well, you must be because the last video got a lot of support, which made me really happy. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to end the video here. Hopefully you did enjoy and thank you for watching. Bye-bye everyone. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>